What's up guys and welcome back to Stardew Valley. You'll notice that some things are a bit different than they were before. So I didn't like the way that uh, the playthrough was uh, heading because I thought there were a lot of things that I wasn't doing properly or I didn't do at all. So I started it over and I got us basically in the place that we were in the, next, the last episode. So. I did the strawberry festival that I did in the other one, except in this one I actually won, so I got this uh, beautiful straw hat that doesn't do anything, but looks cool. And I bought these things, they're pretty nice. Hello there, I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. Okay, I know that, I know that. Thanks, person. So, that's what I did. I started planting a lot and a lot more as well and I got some uh, fertilizer for the plants and I also in the strawberry place thing I actually got the strawberry plants which makes a lot of sense I think so all my ground is now fertilized which is great and I want these strawberries to work because they're cool thank you very much there you go I'll, uh, I'll keep the other ones I'll keep the other ones not there, not there, thank you very much. You're going here. And yeah, that's it. I don't think I have more seeds of anything else, no. Also, uh, in this episode, there's something very important that I want to do. So while I was fishing, right, I found this, a magma geode. So I've never seen one of those. I'm assuming you would need to go very down into the mines until you find freaking lava, because uh, I've never seen that, that's for sure. So, my idea is that I would open it with you guys, because why not? Let's make it special. It's the rarest thing I've ever seen in uh, Stardew Valley, so I kind of want to do that. Also, another thing that I did is I started romancing, and I think I'm going to go for Penny, because she's cute. And she's nice. Did I give her the presents already? No. I need to go get her a present. Wait a second, guys. I need some dandelions for the lady, okay? The lady needs some dandelions. She likes it. If your lady likes dandelions, you give your lady the goddamn dandelions. Are we, are we clear, guys? That's how it works. That's how life works. So let me get her the dandelions then. One dandelion. There you go. And so another thing that I wasn't doing is that I was just putting all my plants in the, the box. There was a dandelion here, I'm an idiot. Well then. Uh, when I should actually be selling them to Pierre, because it said in the beginning of the game that he would buy any produce that you have. Oh. How am I going to reach that letter in the back? Oh, Penny, my, my love. Let me help you, Mr. Mulder. What a see? What a what? This is wife material, man. Why are you upset? No, you couldn't. You're an asshole. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, Gramps? Huh? Huh? Gonna be an ass? Yeah, you did a kind thing there, Penny. You asshole. Yeah, she was only trying to help you fucking... I... Oh, I'm gonna punch you out of your freaking wheelchair, man. Like, I get it. He's, he's, he's upset because he's in a wheelchair. And he probably has some problems with it. He feels diminished. I, I get it. No, no, I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. Yeah. Yeah, it was. You fart. Yeah, she understands because she's wife material and like you. Mainly because you're not a woman to be wife material. But still, it doesn't matter. Hey, my love. It's just a different part of life, being old, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Penny, my love, my beauty. Exactly! 
It is interesting talking to me because I'm lovely. Don't go, I need to give your dandelions whammon. And she went and I didn't give her the goddamn dandelions. Now where is she? Also, one thing about this game is that the music is freaking outstanding. I've never seen music as relaxing and amazing as there is here. Alright. Well, if she isn't here, I'll first start by uh, selling some produce. Thank you very much. It's my man. Take my produce. That doesn't sound very nice, but... Take my produce anyway. I think I'll keep the berries, because you, you won't see them until a year later, these ones, and I might want to make some food out of them. Food that I can only make right now. And obviously we need to do this because this is the highlight for me, and that's, that's the only reason why I'm recording this episode, basically, is because I want to open this cramp. But first I need to see if my beautiful penny girl is here, so that I can give her... Uh, the dandelions. It's dandelions, right? I'm not being an idiot. Yeah, it's dandelions, of course. Where's my love? She's not here yet. Can I have that book? Whatever that is. It's so difficult to match. Okay, I got some crap for you, man. An earth crystal. It's beautiful, I know. And, when I was fishing and I got this, I also got this uh, thing. There you go. And I got a reward. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, what is it? A chicken statue. Amazing. And melons. Oh, there was a person that liked melons. Oh, it's in the summer. So I need to wait a little bit. Okay, I'll wait. Don't worry. No problem. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. Finally. Not the, not the garbage, but... I also have a geode, like a normal one, because I kind of want to compare. Okay, so what does this give me? It gave me, obviously, calcite. That's not very nice. So, do your magic, my man. Three things. Iridium, of course, yes. And you... Something else. What is that? Star shards. What are these? Mineral and resource. So I'm not supposed to... Give them to the museum, these ones. Huh. Okay. So what am I supposed to do with them? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea actually. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? I mean they're cool. An exotic ore with many curious properties can be smelted into bars. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. Oh, so this one's for the museum. Oh, and this one's for the museum as well. This one isn't. Why don't you want the iridium? Are you racist? Are you racist about the museum? And I have a chicken statue for my farm. Amazing, I, I like statues. So Gunta, my man, take the minerals. So I'm going to put the minerals over here, because I think it looks kind of nice. There you go. You better pay me well eventually for those, right? You good bastard. Those are expensive to get. I needed to fish a fish. That's expensive. Now I need my penny, penny girl. I know it's still the beginning of the, the week and I have plenty of time to give you your gifts, but uh, when I want to give you your gifts pronto. Pronto, okay? Maybe she's in her trailer, and that's another reason why I want to help her out. It's because, I mean, she lives in a freaking trailer, probably against her will because her mom's kind of an ass. She's probably more focused on drinking or something than she is with uh, stuff. Where's Penny? hell, man? Marnie, where's Penny? I don't know. Where would she be, actually? I don't know. I'm Confonzels, though. So why did I become a farmer? It's more real than living in the city, yeah. We have so much in common, Leah. You were cute and all, but I want Penny. And no, no one else but Penny. So thanks a lot for your concerns, but I don't care about them. Alright, give me those berries, thank you very much. Maybe she's here with the kids? She's not here with the kids. No. Where's my wham? I'm getting I'm getting kinda sad now. I kinda wanted to see her, you know what I mean? Ah. Does 
she have a doctor's appointment or something? Does she? No. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, this is awkward. Where, where the hell would she be? Grandma! Yeah, it is a lovely day, but it's not a lovely day without Penny, man. No, that's not Penny either. Maybe she's... Maybe she's in some house, maybe like teaching the kids or something, I don't know. She loves kids for some reason. I mean, why wouldn't she love kids, right? Yeah, kids are amazing. So you're here, so she isn't teaching kids. So where the hell is she? Would she be? Huh. Maybe she's in the beach. I don't know. Is she in the beach? Oh, I'll get these punches then. Cockles. Of course, cockles. And is there something here? Because I mean, I'm, I'm up for making some money, you know what I mean? I'm up, I'm up for making some money. No? I guess I can sell the cockle. Never heard of the things, but uh, there you go, it's a cockle. Why not? Let me sell him the cockle. So I'm pretty sure he's still there. And maybe we were going to fish a bit uh, after this, and I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe Penny will be somewhere. I would like to know where she is actually, and that would be very nice. But for now, we'll fish a little bit. Just to make some money, just until um, 5 p.m. because that's when he closes. So we catch fish until the time he closes. And then we try to find Penny and if we don't find Penny then well sucks to be us, isn't it? And the new record on the sardines. Aren't I the best? I know. So we need 10,000 gold, right? And we also need um, 450 woods. To make a kitchen, or at least to make an expansion in our house that has a kitchen. Oh, I didn't catch a guy, dang it. So, I, uh, I'm curious, I actually want to know if the expansion has anything else except the kitchen. And I'm also assuming that the things you cook are going to give you a lot of money. So that's a good way to make back the 10,000 that you actually have to spend on it. And after that I'm going to make a cook, I think that's the best thing to do. Well, that's not going to win any prices, but uh, it's still a good sardine. And sardines, you can say whatever you want, but uh, sardines, the best fish in existence. And there's nothing you can say about it that will that will prove me otherwise, right? Sardines are the best fish. Period. Period. Who would eat anything if you have sardines? Come on, you either fish fast or, or I'm stopping you because yeah, I'm stopping you. Because I need to sell the fish. I don't want to stay with it until I get home. I'm selling you right now, 100 bucks for two sardines. That's pretty good if you ask me, right? That's pretty good if you ask me. Now, Penny, my love, please, don't make this a penniless episode because I'm going to be very sad. Hey, Elliot, how are you doing, my man? Oh, you moved here recently as well. Huh. That's nice. Maybe she's here? No. I'll check the library. The library is going to be closed, right? Yeah, the lab. Penny! My love! I have dandelions for you. No, don't eat the dandelion. Give it to her. No! Can you please give it to her? Yes! It is special because you're special. Hey, I wanted your love. You're okay. Penny, why did you do this to me? Oh man. I thought I was going to get with you today and stuff. I don't know why I thought that, but I but I thought that. Well I guess I'm going to put my chicken in my house. And I'm probably also going to, uh, I mean, not plant this, but I'm pretty sure I didn't water my plants. And that's a bad problem. Yeah, I didn't... Ouch, I didn't plant them, yeah. I need to. Otherwise, 
they won't grow tomorrow, and I need them to. This is just uh, such a relaxing game, you can just come here, plant some stuff, have some fun, you know, it's probably one of, one of the best games I've played recently, I don't know why. Just after, uh, after an entire day of stress, you come here and you just take a breather, you know what I mean? You just take a breather. And it's lovely, and it's absolutely lovely. I love it. So we're going to water the plants, we're going to go to sleep, and we're going to end this episode. This painful episode, actually. And, um... Ah, crap. And we'll leave it here for now. Ah, such a good life on the farm. My farm... Finally getting something, you know? Finally going somewhere. My cat is also not called, uh, whatever he was called before, he is now called... Nee. Great name for a cat, I know. Nee the cat. It's beautiful. Also, these strawberries are going to take a little bit of time to grow, which is a problem, but uh, you know what? I don't care anymore. They grow when they have to grow, right? They grow when they have to grow. And I'm going to put my things back. My melon seeds and then my dandelions and things. And these are resources. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very nice. Could I put it outside? That would be nice. It has to be inside, huh? Okay. Where am I going to put a chicken? Um, I would go for a furnace chicken. Yeah, does it do anything? Oh, I thought you were going to do something. Well, it's a chicken. Living off the land, huh? It's salmon berry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with the juicy little berries and they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. Yeah, should I, should I harvest them for cash? I don't know. We're going to cut one tree. A good night's tree. Just like any lumberjack would do. You guys should know that uh, before sleeping, every lumberjack makes the lumberjack cutting tree. That's true. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Give it a like and share it to the friend. Helps me out a lot. Also, comment on what you would like to see next and some tips, maybe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.